Hello and welcome back to another Weather Outlook video. My name is Lyman. This is Lyman's Weather Forecast. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, um, and comment down below. Um, what do you think June will be like? Do you think it'll be an active super weather month? Do you think it'll be a active hurricane month? Do you think it'll be a normal June pattern? Um, I would like to know. Please leave it down below. Now your comments down below. And also, join my Discord. Um, I will have a link to the Discord in, down below. And, um, it's, Discord is free, if you guys don't know that. Um, please join it. Come hang out. Um, and also... Please like and sub please like and subscribe again. Like I said, and um, share this video with friends or family that you think might like weather-related content. Um, also, I would like to give two shoutouts. I would like to give one shout out to a friend of mine on YouTube. Well, two of them are friends of mine on YouTube, um, and they do the same thing I do. They do weather. They do weather-related stuff. Um, one of them is like, he makes his own forecast. Um, another one is kind of like me, we're just getting started into the YouTube. Um, but he's also very good. He does, he's been following Arthur since it was named um, Tropical Depression 1. So um, I will have links to their YouTube videos down, or their YouTube channels down below. They are at Immediate Meteorology. And um, tomorrow's weather today. So I will have links um, down below and let's get into this video. So in today's video we will be talking about the SPC outlooks. Um, we will be looking at the drought monitor, um, the temperature outlook, and the remains of hurricane or how do I keep calling it a hurricane? Tropical storm Arthur. So Let's get straight into Tropical Storm Arthur and what I think will happen. Um, so, this is now. This is where it's at now. We have that area of low pressure right there. That's the circula circulation. It is looking like it's wanting to ramp up. Um, so, it, it will. Um, so, here's the track of what it's going to do. Um, it's going to basically turn southward. Um, about here, it's going to ramp up, and it's going to be a strong tropical storm. And out in the middle of the ocean, and then about here, it'll die. About here, they'll put it back as a depression. And about here, it'll just become rain showers as it's moving into Bermuda. So there's your track of Arthur, and what my predictions are that it'll be um, at the end of all of this. Um... So, sorry. Uh, so we'll look at what it's done today. Um, you can see it was, it kind of weakened as it was moving off onto the coast of coastal um, islands of North Carolina, and then it's strengthening back up. It'll strengthen up around here, and then it will die. So, um, there's Arthur, um, tomorrow I will do an update and we'll see what the National Hurricane Center is looking at for another, um, hurricane or tropical storm or depression, um, we'll see if they have any chances of any storms out, um, out in this area, Oops. out in this area, so, um, I'm also looking at here. Um, this storm, um, and there's also a big storm coming off and from Mexico, it's moving north, um, and it's another storm I'm worried about, so, there's a few little spots that I'm watching, but, oh, see, that one has weakened tremendously, that one's kind of rotating, but it's weakening at the
Right now, I highly doubt we'll have any other aesthetic. Stargates is lying on elf. Pop ups until hurricane season starts, which is June first. Um, so now what we'll look at is the. Sorry about my background noise. We'll look at um the the albums for day one, two, and three. So um for day one we have a marginal risk. Um, where is it? Of course, it's a stargate. We have a marginal risk. You can see where it's at. It's right I in this area. Um, it's right here. Um, it's for um, isolated severe storms. They have a long storm in the east from parts of Ohio, South Florida, and a corridor from central Idaho through north central Montana. So we also have a marginal risk here. Um, we have general thunder. Um, and the plains, um, in the northwest, so these are just areas of general rain showers with some thunder and stuff to it. Um, so, um, now what we'll look at is, um, day two, and then we'll on to day three, and then we will look at drought and temperature. Um, so, day two, um, looks like, oh, they just updated, look at that. We do have now a slight risk. Um, so, they just updated as I was moving on. So, slight risk is for Ohio. Um, in this area, pretty funny. I've never had that happen before. Um, so we do have that from Ohio um, to Kentucky, so that means if updated. Um, so, it is still the same for Tornado, it is a 2% into Ohio and Kentucky. Um, the hail threat is up into uh, Montana and Idaho and also into Florida, and then that wind threat. Wind and tornado are the main threats today. Well, actually, they're all threats, but wind is a two percent or a five or a five percent or fifteen percent into mon or into. Uh, yeah. in so says, we'll go to day two. Day, have a good day. day right, two is supposed to be more of a quiet day um, um, oh, as of right now. Wait, hang on. Now this things will change. Yes, even automatic, we have with the that gold stars and fire. Up I wasn't even looking at the gold stars. But this um, is basically so my perfect backdrop. Maybe I'll take a screenshot and use it as I my am Zoom looking for meeting background. Like so when I take important meetings, it's just, isolated severe storms in it's just this me, area the flames, in Montana, and then it's and then, best, um, and Nebraska, best, South um, Dakota, and in Wyoming. So I don't I think, think it's going to be very Zoom active tomorrow. Background. I think we'll just have we've got mainly for today, rain so showers. I'm going to say goodbye. I'll um, be looking out. And or brown soda. And if you join my Discord, I'll keep posting. I hope you take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Um, so we will look at day two. We will see you um, back here tomorrow. Outlook. It is going to be a. You know we might see Mike doing a little bit of a stream. A small a rare treat. A Mike stream. Not very large. This time tomorrow. If there is a Xbox tornado. On Wednesday, we're going to be doing um, a streamed challenge. If, a bit like see, last one. There is no tornado. Uh, a bit like for tomorrow. Challenge um, hail threat for tomorrow. And, uh, I think it's very low. We'll yeah, it's a five percent in Wyoming, Nebraska. South Dakota and also like five percent in Montana, and then that wind and is and safe and sane. And wind and hail are the main threats for these weird storms. Times we are going so through, and with that, I will say it is a strong thunderstorm that may impact much of central and northern Montana, parts of eastern Wyoming, and adjacent portions of the plains in the southern southeast and now I reach over and coastal the areas. Tuesday to end the stream. Goodbye. Evening accompanied by at least some risk for severe weather. So, strong thunderstorms, um, but they do have that threat for severe thunderstorms, but it's very clear. So, day three. Categorically. Um, so day three, we do have a slight risk already implemented for much of, Mon for much of eastern Montana. Um, there's... Okay, for much of Montana, um, much of Montana, eastern Montana, and western North Dakota, western South Dakota, western Nebraska, eastern Wyoming. 
They have a March Norris um, in Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, um, Nebraska, Colorado, and Wyoming. Day 3 probabilistic is probably a 15% for wind, hail, probably like a 2% for tornadoes. Yep, right there. You can see, sorry about my background noise. Um, so, there's your SVC outlook. Um, we'll go on the giant monitor. So, we do have areas that need rain. They need it, they need it, they need it. Um, so, we will look at that. So, you can see... Oops. So, you can see where we need the rain. We need the rain. And to southern Colorado. Um, what western parts of um Cal 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 California and and also parts of North Central Oregon, and then we do have all those areas. We have so just in this general area, this all needs the rain. Um, so hopefully it does some rain. Today. Um, also places that need the rain, we need rain. And to corners area, um, they do need much of a needed rain. They did have some severe storms come through here, so they do have their rain, but they need more rain. Um, and into Florida, um, a lot of the um, marshes are, are marshes are catching on fire. Grass grass areas are catching on fire. These areas of Florida because they don't have the rain that they need uh, now. This area, the, this area, the drought should, the drought uh, monitor should go down, um, because of the rain that they're gonna get today, but, um, we'll see. The area we'll go to is, today's, uh, the temperature outlook for this week, um, so this is the temperature outlook, this is for the 23rd through the 27th, um, and this, then the light blues, um, we don't have any really colder than normal conditions, we do have a little, like, a little colder than normal in these areas, um, but it's not much, um, and then we do have, we do have a large, um, portion that is going to be warm in their normal, so, um, that's your 6 to 10 day, um, um, sorry, um, um, Tim Jarrell. So I will leave you all with looking at Arthur and where it is. Um, I hope everybody has a great day. Remember to go, um, look, um, go subscribe to Immediate Meteorology in tomorrow's weather today um i will leave their links down in the description also go join my discord it would help out a lot please like subscribe and share this video um comment down below how you think june's gonna be and i will see you guys on the next one stay safe get weather aware this is lane